Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And welcome back to another episode of Walking and Talking and Ride and Slide with your boy, Courtney P. You do not have to kill yourself. Start out walking five to ten minutes in your neighborhood and work your way up. So, YouTube. So, Birmingham, I want to talk to you guys today about Alabama football. And obviously, Alabama had a heartbreaking loss at the last second to Tennessee last week. Tonight, we've got Mississippi State Bulldogs. And I think that Alabama can bounce back. You know, obviously, you know, a lot of people have bashed Alabama secondary throughout the whole week, saying Alabama secondary is trash. But if you go back and look at that game and you really watch football, really the cornerbacks did not play that bad. You know, Kool-Aid as well as Terry and Arnold, they did not play that bad. It was just the safeties were caught out of position. And, you know, I attribute that not to really just bad play, you know, um, not necessarily bad play by the safeties. I look at it as great play calling by Josh Heupel, the head coach at Tennessee, as well as his offensive coordinator. You know, they had a masterful game plan, you know, even though, you know, the one receiver killed us. And obviously you got to give, you know, him his credit, you know, the Tennessee receiver that had the five touchdown, five touchdowns last week. But I'm looking for Alabama, although Mississippi State throws the ball a lot. I'm looking for Alabama defense to bounce back. I'm looking for, you know, the actual corners and the safeties to actually step up. Obviously, I think Jameel Gibbs is going to do his thing, you know, offense, the running back with Alabama. I think, you know, Isaiah Bunn, you guys have got to watch this kid. Number 17, I think he's going to be our breakout wide receiver. Usually every year around the sixth, seventh, eighth game, Alabama has a breakout player come out that's maybe a freshman or a sophomore. I think Isaiah Bunn could be that guy. You know, Prentice is already stepping up number 80, but I think Isaiah Bunn is going to be, you know, our smoke guy. You know, and what I mean by smoke guy, you know, our deep threat, you know. And so we'll see what happens, but I'm looking at Alabama to bounce back and win this game 38 to 20. I'm looking at Will Anderson to lead the defense, and I'm looking at Alabama to look at this game like a playoff game because whether you're undefeated or one loss in college football, if you really know college football, this is like playoff time. You know, nobody, whether you're undefeated or have one loss, can afford to lose a game. And I think Nick Saban is going to have Alabama ready. So, again and again and again, thanks for walking and talking and riding and sliding with your boy, Courtney P, the voice of the people, the voice of Birmingham, the voice of the South, the voice of America, the voice of the world. Thanks for walking and talking and riding and sliding with your boy, Courtney P, and Roll Tide Roll.